Hey everybody, Jillian here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I wanted to share a 100 days of less hustle, more Jesus process video. We're on day 19 and I thought it would be fun to show you my pages up until today. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I will mention that I had my book spiral bound at my local office depot, I think it was, and it was maybe $4.16. So if you're interested, you can have that done. They'll cut off the binding for you. You will lose the really pretty teal ribbon that comes with this, but I think it's worth it for the spiral to get some more space because you can see I'm only 18 days in and we've got some dimension in there. So I like the spiral for that. Okay, now finally, let's get to the flip through. Day one. I've mentioned uh, elsewhere, I don't know if on here, I'm using leftover supplies, mark maker. I have a process video for this page if you want to check it out. Lots of print and pray pieces like these tile alphas and then I've got some revival camp pieces that I have layered up here. Lots of print and pray collage papers, just using up um, alpha stickers, and then these are from some super old devotional kits. Pieces from Wildflower, layered with Joy Journey, like this piece. This one was really fun. I just used different tile alphas, alpha stickers, to spell out the first half of this verse. And then I stamped out this verse in Isaiah that's listed here with a printable from Elaine. Lots of tile alphas, puffy stickers from Pink Fresh, and a crepe paper sticker. I have a process video for this one too. This was a fun one to do with Elaine Davis's print and pray set, um, Better Than Bandages. Super old stamps, some typing here from my typewriter Louise, print and pray piece from Brave Little Taylor, this page totally inspired by Vanessa Walker, so I just used a wildflower die cut with some ruffled up fabric and then I stapled on top of there, glued on top of there, um, one of the toolbox words from Jill's print and pray toolbox set and then stamped that. For day 17, I layered um, some printables from Brianna Showalter from her set Love Letters from God, I think it's called. I love the little stamps and um, ran this through my typewriter and then used the Journal Crush stamp set, which if you're interested in, it's not available now, but if you're interested, that could be restocked. Day 18, I kind of got ahead of myself because what I took out of day 18 is kind of what day 19 talks about, so whoops, but again, I <laughs> used some printables from Brianna Showalter, um, some 100 Days Toolbox printables from the first 100 Days book, and then some alpha stickers. So that's it. I'm keeping it pretty simple as you can see, and I have no idea what I'm going to do for this page. All I know is that I've underlined this part right here because I wanted to focus on that. I've got... Um, a pretty great color scheme to work from if we're looking to this um, lighter aqua, this darker one, and like this pinkish color. It's a pretty, pretty great place to jump off from and that's typically what I do when I'm working through this. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let me show you what I pulled for day 19. These are available digitally if you didn't get the physical kit. Um, got some similar colors that match the book, so I want to use these up. And then um, for a title, I looked to the Less Hustle toolbox from the Print and Pray shop, and I was thinking about uh, titling it something like Trust His Timetable. The word for today, like if you were to use one word for every day, is time, but the cool thing about digital printables is you can print this off as many times as you want for your own personal use. So I can use whatever words I want because I can always print more out. So I might do that for my title. And then just to get some color on the page, I thought that this washi tape from the first Revival Camp devotional kit this year would be uh, really fun to use. I love the map print. 
Um, I pulled this Robin's Egg Blue Target Paint. I might use a stencil. This is a really pretty stencil from the Let's Travel line from Cardabella. I might put that somewhere on here. And then I've got this green Illustrated Faith journaling pen. It's not an exact match to this, but I thought it might be cool to use this with the paint and the stencil and we'll see how it works together. I've got a lot of things out right now and I don't know that I'm going to use all of them. Probably not, but let's see what happens. <laughs> So first I'm going to take a baby wipe with this acrylic paint and the stencil and I'm going to use some paint on the baby wipe to push the color through the stencil. So I'm just going to put the baby wipe on my finger, dip it in a little bit of this Robin's Egg Blue paint and pounce it through the stencil. This will not yield a crisp, perfect impression as you can see. You just get an idea of what the pattern is, which is totally okay. So I'm going to put this in another spot, like opposite corners of the page. There we go. And then hit that with my heat tool to help speed up the drying process. All right, then I'm going to take that same stencil and do my best to line it up with what's already on the page. It took me a while to do this because I, I rotated it when I put it away. So I had to play with it a little bit to figure out <laughs> how I originally lined it up. All right, I think I figured it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this green journaling pen and just put my pen through some of the holes in the stencil and kind of outline those shapes so you get a better idea of what exactly that paint is supposed to look like. And I didn't do every single hole. I just wanted it to be kind of like a background layer, abstract, but I really like how it came out. And I really like this two-tone color scheme. All right, so that's it. Pretty simple, right? Now let me go ahead and read to you Shauna's devotional while I'm working on getting my title down. And you can see that I ended up choosing some um, tile alphas from the print and pray shop because I wanted to bring this darker blue color to the page. Shauna says, all in his time. When you're thirsty, it's likely you'll drink from a glass of water, not an entire pitcher. A swig from something that big is a surefire way to get soaked. Little mouth, big spout. It's science. Experiencing God is very much the same. He has so much to reveal to you that it's impossible to comprehend. Some seasons of walking with Him feel slower and more mundane. Others bring heart-filling, soul-freeing transformation. It's important to remember that less spectacular times don't mean you're doing something wrong. The Lord knows you aren't able to take it all in at once. His offer of a glass instead of a pitcher is a tender way of sharing Himself with you in ways you can take in right now. True revelation can't be rushed, so take a load off. Just set your heart on him and all you need will be revealed in his time. That last line is the one that I underlined and that's what I wanted to focus on today. So when Shauna mentions the glass and the pitcher, I thought of this really cute uh, print and pray set from Elaine Davis called Squeeze the Day and I thought about using it on here, but I really wanted to stick to this color scheme so I didn't end up using it. But if you have it in your stash or you want to pick it up, I think this would be a great use for it. Instead, what I decided to do was just focus on the title. And so I'm going to use some stamps here to spell out the word trust. And the title will read, Trust His Timetable. Once I got my letters picked out, I went back to this washi tape and tore a little strip off um, just to get some of that color there and then I'm going to go in with these wooden alpha stamps. These are from Hobby Lobby but they so many different people make these. <laughs> and then I'm going to put the washi tape in one more place and use an assortment of alpha stickers to get this word table down. So I'm going to use these Florence alpha stickers from Bella Boulevard, these Abigail alpha stickers from Doodlebug, these um, Studio Calico teal alphas trying to use those up. These are really old from Amy Tangerine. They're transparent alpha stickers. I found these when I was um, going through my office. And then these from A Beautiful Mess. And I wanted to end it with a darker color, so I'm going back to the Florence alphas for a, an exclamation point. Just like in other pages, Shauna shares her devotional 
four Bible verses and then a prayer, which says, Lord, I know that you will reveal yourself to me in your time and in your way. I want to love you more each day. So I'm going to bring some more of this darker blue to the page using these stickers from the Mark Maker Devotional Kit. And then I'm going to take the grid washi tape that coordinates with the 100 Days book, which is, I think, been restocked in the Illustrated Face Shop. I'm going to put that in a few places on the page and then use a word fetty that says amen to kind of top that off on the bottom. Now here I'm indicating that I'm going to go back and add my journaling later, but I really like the white space that's in there now. I thought about using those Journal Crush stamps, but decided not to. I'll just handwrite it. And that is it. Here's a finished look at my page. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to link what I used if it's still available down there in the video description below. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you soon.